Now the system has crept into our post office. Have you been on our post offices lately? You have this great meandering queue of people all wandering around, <laughs> bored, brainless, zonked out, just going. There's music. <laughs> they have a big television set. Have you noticed they have a big television set? To show you all how wonderful the post office is as you stand there getting older and older and older. They're showing you things like facelifts, <laughs> nose jobs, beds that you can straighten your back on, all those things. And we're all wandering around. Them. I've seen people go around the post office three or four times and not buy a stamp. <laughs> They're just sunk, dog. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever noticed when you when you're there, and one of the areas becomes vacant, and you you don't notice it, the queue goes. <laughs> well, I don't like those big queues. I want individual cues. That's what I want. Individual cues for individual people's needs. I think in every, every post office there should be a queue for foreigners. <laughs> there should. I don't mind. I, I like foreigners, but I don't want to be in a queue behind them. I don't want to wait and wait and wait while they go through all that foreign crap. I want to get on with it. It should say, for people who cannot speak English. <laughs> I got behind an Italian. And he's going, I wanna... I wanna... I wanna know how... Uh, how... Uh, how will you say... Uh, um, uh, the... the uh, you know... You know what I mean. I... Uh, um, uh, I think, oh, sh shit. If I had a pen here, I'd stick it in your head. <laughs> there should be cues for people who know nothing about anything. <laughs> it should say, this is an arsehole's cue. <laughs> he knows nothing about anything. <laughs> they're, always, they're there, and I go, they're... Um, hey, uh, do you think, um, do you think I should, uh, this, uh, uh, parcel post? Parcel post. Is it better to send parcel post by sea or maybe by air? Uh, uh, train. Train. Can I send a parcel post by train to France? Uh, no, I can't, can I? Oh, I could if the channel tunnel is open. Yeah, I suppose I could. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Grannies. Do you ever get behind a granny in a queue? <laughs> all grannies want to talk about is her grandchildren. That's all they have in life. <laughs> Nobody has to ask them. They just volunteer all this crap information. <laughs> yes, yes, I've got three grandchildren. <laughs> New Zealand, yes, my daughter Sophie. She married this chappy called Ryan. I didn't really like him, but she liked him, so I suppose I couldn't say anything about it. But they have three children, this little Rodney. Rodney, ha, 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 Rodney. That's a lovely little boy. Ha, 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 And Sylvia, and I'm sending them the birthday presents because it's over. And I'm standing behind her thinking, you old geriatric, for Christ's sake, die and let me buy my stuff. <laughs>